It's rare in the thoroughbred industry when a plan comes to fruition and is executed perfectly. And in back-to-back -back years, Gleam Shaw and his team did that at the Gulfstream two-year-old in training sale. In 2018, they bought Bellafina, who was one of the most brilliant performers on the racetrack in the Undertack show that we had that year. It went on to be one of the most accomplished racehorses of her generation. Repeated the same thing in 2019. Kaleem and his team came to the Gulfstream sale and bought Donna Veloce, magnificent physical individual, grade one performer on the racetrack. Back-to-back -back years, Kaleem and his team accomplished what they set out to do, which was buy the best fillies at the sale and achieve great success on the racetrack with them. I thought Bellavina had one of the great two-year-old starts that I've seen a filly have in a long time. She broke her maiden in the Sorrento, a grade two, wins by more than four lengths. She comes back, another win in the debutante. Then Bellafina wins two more grade ones and uh, wins the Santa Anita Oaks. She does it all at six furlongs to a mile and a sixteen. Bellafina dazzling once again, and it will be Bellafina. What a nice performance, a very easy victory in the Santa Anita Oaks. And uh, you put pedigree together with uh, that kind of physical and that heart, that's what made her so special. Bellafina was bred to, I think, a perfect horse to start her off in Uncle Mo. Well, one thing I think Bellafina really has that's quite different is she is a big mare and she was of good size as a two-year-old. Long leg, long body, long type, looks to turn, but fast as hell. And that's what I love about her. Donna Veloce had very much the same sort of criteria for purchase that Bellafina had. She had the physical, beautiful neck and shoulder set, the beautiful depth. She has a massive hip and quarter on her. Donna Veloce, that, that first start was really something. I mean, I watched it, I wasn't there, but I remember watching it thinking this is a, not only a TDN rising star, this is a world-class rising star. And I think we all knew right then she was very special. The one thing that sticks out to me when you watch Donna Veloce's races was her brilliance, uh, her turn of foot, her acceleration uh, that demonstrated that in virtually every start that she made, competed in grade ones against the very best. She had a ton of speed and that will be attractive to buyers really from all over the world. One thing you will find with the mating of Donna Veloce to her first stallion, Justify, you will get a magnificent foal. I think that was a perfect mating for the mare. And both Bellafina and Donna Veloce are in foal to Tis the Law, and I believe Tis the Law is one of the most underrated uh, stallion prospects uh, that we've come across in, in my professional career. He had the misfortune of being brilliant on the racetrack in 2020 during the COVID year. His body of work in 2020 was, was really top notch. Seeing, you know, Tappet, Constitution, and his will all would be a very prominent sire line. Great potential there. Having watched Bellafina, having watched Donna Veloce both go through their paces on the track, incredible mares, both extremely good two year olds. To sell mares like this really, really doesn't happen every day. I think that when we put them in front of the public, that's when they will sell themselves.